that's really going to be the next step in his development, what's going to take him from being a good role player to potentially a star for this team. Marcus Carr from deep, he nails it. Really nice job by Couch from moving his feet and forcing him to help. Well, Manic wasn't ready for that pass. Carr grabs it, and the Gophers score first. To get the victory, Austin Reeves had a big second half. Out to Willis, a clean look for three. And Peyton Willis, Doolittle going in circles, ended up leaving that one short. Carr over the Sooners defense, plus the foul. And now watch what he does. He sprints. That forces Doolittle to respond, and as a result, he's late coming over. If Oturu doesn't sprint, Doolittle most likely is going to block that shot. Oturu doing a great job of rim running. Carr goes up, and he drains it. Some contact from Marcus Carr driving through traffic, but he puts that in. Nice bucket for Minnesota. Winston thought he for sure had a dunk, and Oturu comes from the clouds to just knock that away. Now Trey Williams open, and it's good. Carr now driving up with the left, fouled, and count it. Three-point play. Well, great looking bucket, drawing the contact. No idea if we were right or wrong there. <laughs> and oh. another three. He got the first one. Uh, didn't want him to pick up the bang bang second foul because they need him. And it's replaced. to the basket. Almost had two more with Sims on the move. But Sims knows he missed an opportunity because they'll throw a letter. The shooter was set and ready to let him go. Ahmed. Now, easy baseline look for Wesson, but this is it badly. It was maybe too open there, Robbie. Here's Carr stepping through the lane and getting it to go. Carr with the shot clock under 10. Down low, Alejandro Mir. That's just a breakdown. 11 2 run for Ohio State. Carr into the paint and gets it to go and draws the foul. Talk about a hoop Minnesota needed. Playing when you got Marcus Carr who can get his game on like this. See, two Buckeye defenders does not matter. Marcus Carr getting contact and the finish. Just a spectacular drive. And again, Caleb Wesson. What a scene here at Williams Arena. As Carr, why not? Defensively, continuing to struggle now, shooting under 30% from the field. As Carr around Osaga. Set up the full court pressure, and Carr splits that. Three out three, Carr trying to go end to end. It'll count and one. They try to trap him. What he does, he gets low. He gets lower than the two defenders. That allows him to split that double team. Then he's just able to go end to end. It's an endeavor. Fabulous commissioner and has turned into a really good friend. We will certainly miss him in this league. Here's Carr draining the three. Minnesota needed that. To go for Harms. Williams the rebound for Minnesota. Now Carr. Why not? That's a neon green light right there. Shots all year. Top spinning had a charge free. Stolen by Marcus Carr, three on two, Carr to Willis, Willis, toe two. Possession shows you why, active hands, good breakdown, Carr able to get out in the open floor. The spacing wasn't necessarily what you'd want to see, but the result was for Minnesota. Minnesota's gone to the bench, Trey Williams the freshman, Jarvis Omersa the sophomore. Here is Marcus Carr, the pit transfer is sinking a three, and he has been a difference maker for Minnesota since coming over. Brown touch pass, Watts loads up a three. Oh my goodness, what an offensive rebound. It's stuffed away. Minnesota gets a defensive stand on the final possession here in the first half. Here's Carr trying to get around to Julius. And the seal of the end from Amersa helped. In a one possession game, here's Carr. Oh. Athletically and somehow got that around and over Teske. And it's a one point game. So Marcus Carr, a rough first half offensively, but quite the finish at the end. It's a one-point game, 31-30 to the State Farm halftime. Five, here's Carr. Down low, two run, traffic, and one. There was
wasn't much of a window, but Oturu so strong, flexing. It wasn't a window. This is a male slot that he throws this thing through. And what concentration by Oturu. Because there's a lot of hands that this thing goes through, and he has to keep his eye on the ball. Outstanding, outstanding catch. All tied at 16. Here's Willis for three from the corner. And the Gophers take the lead. Good double. That's something that Michigan did not do. They did not show a double team to Oturu and make them get the ball out of his hands. And Carr with the double leaves a wing player open, and Carr knocks down the three. Splitting defenders, lost it, got it back. Reload for three. And Marcus Carr, red hot to start the night. He has nine points. Seven. Three off the mark from Lundy. Long rebound. Carr trying to race up the floor. He does. Foul and one. Now watch, watch all the white jerseys. This is made possible because when that shot went up, you saw the white jerseys get the inside position. Kind of get Dwayne Washington to turn the corner with his off hand. How about that split by mm -hmm. Carr and a finger roll off the window pane. And he doesn't shoot the same. That's not taking anything away from him. Defenses are differently, but that just shows how special Oturu is all the way around. Carr with the steal and the finish. Prototypical. Big Ten game, physical, fast, connected. Marcus Dahl right there. And it looks like Patino won't call the timeout. Special for Carr. Off the bounce, big time. That car will drive. And Marcus Carr utilized the pick and roll up top and made the Buckeyes pay. Um, R. Gamir also on the floor with Peyton Willis. Here's Carr, motoring, counted on a foul. Marcus Carr going down, he the patience on the pick and roll. That time, the defense for Michigan State really never controlled the dribble. Good job by Brockington of navigating those screens and being there on the catch for Peyton Willis. Step back for Carr, yes! Finally, Marcus Carr. The line. Big time play by Marcus Carr, and that's the right call. People may say, well, look, look where his hand is. He comes right across the elbow, right there. You make contact with the shooter, it doesn't happen. Good double by Stevens. That forced Oturu to kind of fan out. Car, bucket, and a foul. That's a man sized drive to the rim. And you contrast this with the one that got blocked. Look where that inside arm is. He forces the defender to come through. And you're getting the feeling if they are going to make a comeback. If they can get a bucket here and go into the under 12 media timeout with some momentum. And they will get a bucket here thanks to Marcus Carr. Marcus Carr, feeling it, has picked up the offensive load here in the second half. A little runner floating away. Really good job by Obersa of bodying up and forcing Stevens away from the basket. Oh, buddy. Marcus Carr is in a zone right now. How you handle ball screens in there is what matters most. Carr got hit and counted. Evil and clipped him. It could be a four-point play for Marcus Carr. Look at this. Shows it. And it was kind of a dying whale going down. Yeah, when he released it, I thought it was going to hit the front of the rim. And now Demir. It's Carr for three. Carr oh, tries the pick and roll again. This time it works to perfection. Oturu's got nine points already. No call, maybe a chance for the Gophers in transition. Bowie came up a little lame behind the play. Carr all the way to the rack and spins it home. Carr, step back three. Book it. But Marcus Carr is not a traditional three-point shooter. They don't try to just get it in, Kevin. They try to score out of these actions. Carr, high off the glass for two. Yeah, so many coaches just want to get the ball in. Carr on the attack. And count it! And the foul! Minnesota ball up by five. Carr shoots over Trice and scores anyway. Not go well for deep from deep for Nebraska, just four of 18. Oh! 
taking it to the basket, Marcus Carr. He now has 18 points.